Hi, I'm Ted Bear. I'm the author of Communicating with Your Dog, which you can get on Amazon. If your dog has a fear of thunder and lightning, this video will help desensitize them to it. As you will be using this video many times, the directions are at the end of the video.
If you are listening to these directions, your dog is afraid of thunder and lightning. I also know you love your dog and you don't want them to have the anxiety they have or in some cases the potential of injuring themselves doing thunderstorms. You sure don't want them tearing apart your house either. You need to reshape your dog's behavior to thunder and lightning. From here on out, don't pet or comfort your dog when there is a storm, even if your dog is shaking. You are not always going to be home when a storm passes, plus you are just encouraging your dog to be scared. Don't encourage any unwanted behavior for that matter. If you are afraid of bad storms yourself, your dog will pick up on your anxiety as well. Ignore your dog during a storm and distract yourself to get your mind off the storm. Put your headphones or earbuds in if necessary. You will be using the thunder and lightning video when you feed your dog. Try to do it several times per week. To be most effective, pull this YouTube video up on your largest smart TV. If you must use the smaller computer monitor, it won't be as effective, but it will work. A phone won't be very successful though. Ideally, you want to feed your dog when it's dark or in a dark room. That way you can take advantage of the video's flashes of light. It's not only the noise and acoustic shock waves that scare your dog, but the flashes of light from the lightning are scary. Your dog doesn't know what's happening and is scared. Get your dog's food ready and have the video paused at the beginning of the storm segments. Put the food down far away from the TV and start your video. The volume of the video needs to be extremely low at first. Your dog's hearing is so much better than yours. They hear frequencies and things that you can't hear. If your dog is the least bit scared, you have the volume too high and you are trying to progress too quickly with reshaping your dog's behavior. Across the next 30 days of training or more, very slowly raise the volume of the video on each feeding and inch your dog's dish toward whatever is playing the video. This should desensitize your dog to thunder and lightning. If the famous animal behaviorist Pavlov were alive today, he'd tell you that this training is perfect. If you do the training correctly, your dog will start drooling when a storm approaches. Go into this behavior training looking for slow progress and you will succeed. If you are in the United States, our storms are generally in the spring. You might review your training each year toward the end of winter. I also have a video in case your dog is afraid of fireworks as well. Please subscribe and check out my other training videos down in the description section below.